Good morning, Saturday morning. Time for the first event of 2024. We're in Ondara for La Guila de Segalia, the Reaper Eagle Sportiva. 122 kilometers, taking in 1700 meters of climbing. Should be a nice day out and yeah, looking forward to it. We roll out of Ondara down towards Denia and the coast. We've got a climb called Cumbria del Sol, which tops out after 44 kilometers, quite a short climb but it'll be a nice one to open the legs and the big climb of the day is up to Benia that tops out at 75k so yeah from there on back to the finish it's pretty rolling so it should be good it's quite a chilly morning 10 degrees pretty windy so yeah it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out, but for a guy from the northeast of the UK, conditions actually aren't too bad. I've had a fantastic run up to this event, so I've got no excuses for not being prepared. Training's been good. Don't have any real objectives for this event. Just want to get around, enjoy it, open the legs up and see where the fitness is. We're about 10 minutes from rollout. I'm going to head back to the town, get on the start line, get this first event done. As always guys, thanks for tuning in for another video. This is where my season starts. It's great to have you along for the ride. Okay, so 360 riders rolled out of Ondara. First thing to mention is this isn't a race. Although there is a podium and timing chips on all the bikes, it's classed as a Ciclo Sportiva or Marcha as they call them here in Spain. That being said, there's 360 riders with timing chips and numbers on the bikes and a fair percentage of those guys are going to want to race and I'm definitely one of those. That being said, I'm expecting a pretty chill out at the start of the event, but on leaving town it becomes apparent that the front guys have gone out pretty fast. So for the next 10k I'm chasing from group to group, pushing over 300 watts to get to the front of the event. After around 15 to 20 minutes, I made contact with the front group just as we hit the first climb of the day. I didn't give this first ramp a second look on the course profile, however it definitely made an impact. It was only one kilometer in length, but with an average gradient of 11% and sections at over 18% at the steepest, it was enough to split the front group to bits.
over the top, I just kept it rolling, riding from group to group, picking up riders along the way, and eventually we made our way back to the front of the event where a group of 30 riders had formed. Seven kilometers into the event, we began the first significant climb of the day up to Cumbria del Sol. At 8.5 kilometers in length, with a section of 1.6k at over 17%, it was going to be a tough ascent. The front group rode a steady tempo up the first part of the climb, mostly staying together until we hit a section that flattened out. It was at this point the event was stopped. No one in the front group knew anything about this, but I assume it was down to a policing issue. I get it from a safety perspective, gotta put safety first, but maybe the riders should have been briefed on this beforehand. It was super frustrating having just put a big effort in to get to the front of the event, to have to sit up after 40k and allow everyone to get back on. After a 15 minute wait we got back to it and immediately hit the steepest section of the Cumbria del Sol, which blew the group to bits once again. Over the top of this climb and onto the descent into Mariah, the front group of 30 had reformed, but not for long. As we turned inland and upwards towards Benisa, I had the worst part of my ride. All of a sudden, my legs went, and for the next few kilometers, I felt like I was going backwards. Okay, so that's me dropped out of the front group. It's got open road ahead, open road behind, stuck in two miles, what to do. I probably should sit up and wait for a group. We've only been riding 50k, so yeah, I'll probably sit up, wait for a group, and ride with those guys. That's my day at the front done. A nice group of 30 or so riders rolled past at a good tempo, and I thought, awesome, we're back at the race. Oh, yeah, I forgot, this isn't a race, but you know what I mean. Then, as we approached the junction, the group split into two, and I'm like, shit. Needless to say, I made the wrong call and followed the wrong group that aren't even doing the event. So I ride a quarter of a mile in the wrong direction before turning back to have to chase back to the group I was just with. I'm wasting energy and burning matches at a totally unsustainable rate just as we hit the main climb of the day up to Benea. The climb of Benea is 15 kilometers long, so I decided just to take a nice and steady and pace my way back to the group I was just with. The 
first 10 kilometers or so of the Benet is an absolutely incredible stretch of road. Epic scenery, beautiful tarmac, and gradients of no more than 5% with plenty of flats and even downhill to help you build up some momentum and speed to carry you up the climb. After two to three kilometers, I'm back and sitting pretty. At this point, there's a group of 15 to 20 riders up the road, and this is the second group. The legs are starting to come around, and I'm feeling pretty good. And then. All that effort for now. Take the groups being stopped again. So we'll all be regrouping and uh, taking on the second part of the burn here together by the looks of it. So, a bit of a strange event, this one. So, we get rolling again after another 15 minute stoppage and the group immediately explodes. Again, I'm far too far back and end up chasing to regain the front of the race. I eventually get there just as we hit the steepest and hardest part of the climb and indeed the whole day. With ramps of 17%, this 2.5 km stretch of the Benea is an absolute killer. The group is in pieces, and from this moment on, I'm just in pure survival mode. After that brutal section of the Benea, the last couple of kilometers are pretty steady away and once over the top I'm part of a strong group of 6-8 to eight riders that form for the technical descent down towards Jalo. Turn. 
on God, hell stead. I keep dropping back to back. I keep going if you let me. I've been sitting at the top, looking down at those who left me. Promise I'm not being petty. I'm the one they envy. Brody moving state to state, make a million out the semi. Plus I grind in front of stars. I was stacking pennies. I might dip like Machiavelli. After the confetti. On the road out with Jalo, we met with an absolutely killer headwind who's totally dominates the next 20k. Initially, I'm rolling through with five or six other riders and all is well. Then I make a tactical decision to ride past the last phase station and in doing so, lose most of the group we're with. So now it's just me, one other guy, riding through and off into this killer headwind. We're currently running top 20. Sorry, I forgot this isn't a race and position doesn't matter, but I'm pushing, feeling good. Pick up a Spanish rider on the way, he's reluctant to come through, happy to sit on my wheel, no amount of flick on my elbow or slowing down will get him to come through, but when he eventually does, yep, you guessed it. Seriously, three stops. I know this isn't a race, but come on guys. So again, 15 minutes later, we'll get going. We're all back together for less than one mile. You know the drill, I'm back at the front and we're absolutely flying. through Pago and it's an absolutely roaring tailwind home but first we have one last climb the Port de Sorel This climb was much like the first in that I didn't give it a second look on the route profile. It looked pretty insignificant at 2.7 kilometers in length and a 6.2% average gradient. On another day, when I'm not absolutely knackered, this is a nice climb. 
I got halfway up the group, then got popped by the top 20 guys. But once we're over the top, it's the fast running for home. At this point I've pretty much switched off to the farcical race element of the event and I'm just on autopilot rolling into the finish. A few wrong turns later and we're heading back to Ondara. Tennis all riders get on just as we reach town and are rolling with these guys. I know I've mentioned a few times that officially this wasn't a race from a rider's perspective. From kilometre one to the very end, the guys at the front were pushing as hard as any race that I've done. It's just a shame that the three stoppages and the way they were handled took the gloss off the event slightly, but it was still a fantastic day on the bike. <laughs> So that's the Undala Sport they've done and dusted for 2024. Cracking roads, gotta say, the roads around here are absolutely phenomenal. Some amazing climbs, great descents, kind of fault the place. It was a shame we had the three stoppages during the ride, kind of spoiled the flow a bit. I burnt a lot of matches to get in the front group in that first hour and a half before the first stoppage, so yeah, that was a bit of a shame all in all. But still it was a good training session. Legs felt pretty decent. And yeah, I was struggling on the climb, still got some weight to lose, so really gotta knuckle down and get that sorted before the next event. As I expected, didn't have much chance to film whilst I was on the go. But got as much footage from the front and back camera as I could. And I hope the content I put together tells a good story of today's ride. Next event I got coming up is the Miller's Grand Fondo. That's in Villarreal. It's one of the UCI Grand Fondo World Championship qualifiers, so yeah. should be a cracking yeah. event. But 170k, 3,000 meters of climbing, so it's going to be a big deal on the bike. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, it will mean the world to me. If you could subscribe to this channel, like the video, any comments on today's ride, stick them down below. My name is Dave. This is my channel, Dave Rides Again. I'm nothing special, just a mammal on a mission. I'll catch you next time. We ain't going out like that. We ain't going out like that.